blurry second line, yo. Uh, oh my god, it's getting stronger. According to the test, this is what we are. And today is the 21st of June. Pregnant or whatever. So. <laughs> oh, you guys, okay. This is going to be very informal. I mean myself and I was so like, things like bloating. Last time I was telling you about pregnancy cramping being like this. And this was like more like that, you know, like period cramping. I'm gonna ask, I'm not ask him when I told him that look weird. Uh, hey guys, how are you guys is doing? Thank you so much for joining me on another video. Um, we've been through a lot, eh? <laughs> like, we've been through a lot on this channel. Um, none of us ever saw this coming. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the support you have given me. All the support, all the messages, all the just watching all the comments, everything Gav says, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And like I said in my previous video, even when you guys didn't know that I was going through this, I was still able to draw strength from you. And I wrestled a lot with whether I should post the videos or not. I know that posting them for me or filming them when I was filming them it was for me a way to sort through my emotions to get a handle onto what was happening and just bring a little bit of order into the chaos of my life but then I had the thought I had the question as to whether I should actually post them online and I struggled a lot for that but um, I've spoken to so many of you I've spoken to so many of you Many of you have messaged me privately. You gapses that I know personally on a personal note, gapses that I don't know on a personal note. My own friends, my own colleagues, my own acquaintances have come up to me and said, I've been through this. And just, I think by me being able to speak about it, it's been helpful for them to sort of realize that firstly they're not alone and secondly that actually sometimes the things that we consider to be private pains are so sh widely shared but because we never speak about them we always suffer with them in silence and in private and in spaces where we are alone or feel alone it's I am completely and utterly just shocked at how many people that I know who have gone through miscarriages like I can't I am shocked but um, what I wanted to say was thank you so much for allowing the space for the conversation to happen I would also like to say to the people who to all the women out there who are struggling with um, conceiving, struggling with carrying the pregnancy full term, struggling with all sorts of reproductive issues that you are not alone. And I know for many women who watch my videos, some were able to find peace and solace and comfort in the videos and others as um, which I think is actually a very apt name for the situation were triggered it took them back to that moment of miscarriage it took them back to that moment of the doctor telling them that they can't have kids it took them back to that moment of um, of loss and pain and um, it just it took them back and they were not able to sort of move on from that moment but it actually like took them back in their own like sort of like continuation of life and to say that I'm really sorry that that happened it was never my intention to trigger those emotions at the same time I hope that you from 
that moment have learned that you are not alone that you are here and also to say that you will be okay it's not okay that you have the issues that you have and it's not okay that you've gone through the experiences that you've gone through but you will be okay you will be fine you will find a way through this you are stronger than you even think you are as strong as you think you are but you're even stronger than you actually think that you are so I just know that you will be okay it's gonna take time it's gonna take energy it's gonna take a whole lot of love and a whole lot of just drawing inwards and drawing strength from yourself your surroundings from from God but you'll make it and um, when you make it we'll be there waiting for you at the other end um, yeah I just really wanted to say thank you Gapsters I I don't know how to even express the love and support that you have shown me and many other women there. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you next week on the vlog. Lots of interesting stuff is happening so um, I think you guys are going to be surprised. <laughs> no I'm not pregnant <laughs> but um, yeah lots of interesting stuff happening in my life right now and um, very happy to share it with you. So I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye, guys.